Well, it's the first day of our trip, kind of the spontaneous Louise birthday trip, but uh, it's cool to be, hey, <laughs> there's the birthday girl. It's cool to be in a hotel again because we haven't been in a hotel in We've forever. We've never been in a hotel together, period. Oh, that's We've only true. Ever, we stayed at a motel once <laughs> yeah. and an Airbnb once. It feels fancy, even though it's not that fancy at all. I mean, here we have a uh, crack in the glass. We have a beautiful view. Actually, the sunset's really nice, but a lot of just roofing material to look at in the Bay Area here before we take our train ride. <gasps> Detective Agent Louise <laughs> on the move. It's making my glasses fog. We have to show them this bathroom light. So if you come in here, it's dark and you want to see, you just flip the switch and... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, <laughs> it takes it a good five seconds for everything to kick in, but it does work. Nothing screams luxury more than popcorn ceilings, but we're gonna just grab some dinner for tonight, and then our train journey will begin tomorrow morning. Should be cool. It's the first time on a train for me, uh, long term. I've been briefly on trains at like events and stuff, but we should be on the other side of the country within a couple of days and uh, I won't have to drive at all, which I'm looking forward to. So let's go uh, take a look at the city and grab some food. We're just walking to dinner real quick. I had to take a look. Oh yeah, that looks so cool. Nice, what a beautiful vehicle, how gorgeous. Disintegrating. Oh no. And it's plastic, and I'm ready to use it. It's gonna melt through the tub. <laughs> it's probably made of acid. Yeah. I hope this is still okay to use. Probably not. Like it's powder. Mm, not good. Oh, that's good. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Mm. Well, Benihana's was amazing. Probably the coolest restaurant we've ever been to just because you got to watch everything right in front of you. And I read about it and I'd seen it in the office, but experiencing it for myself, a whole different thing. So now it is 6.30 in the morning, probably gonna take an Uber out to Richmond train station and we'll be boarding in just a couple of hours now. And then we get to find a roomette and get cozy and enjoy the train ride to New York. So we arrived to our boarding city, Richmond, a bit early. So we had a couple hours to kill and like no places were open. So we found one little place called Lee's Donuts that was pretty good. So shout out to Lee's Donuts. But the train is already on the move. The first time I've ridden a train this fast in my life, this is like within the first five minutes of leaving the station. And it is so quiet. Like it is so much quieter than a plane. Even though we're moving super duper fast, it's not that bumpy at all. It's actually like surprisingly stable 
I don't know if it changes over time, but so far it is amazing. Like I was walking around the train and we were already moving and I had no idea until I looked out the window. I was like, oh my God, we're in motion. So pretty cool first impression. I'm excited to see all the places we're gonna travel along the way. It looks like we're flying on water. Yeah, so over there, that's Marin County on the far side. So they just served us lunch. It was pretty good. I wouldn't say the best food in the world, but hey, it was included in the price with the roomette. We're going through, I believe the Sierra Nevadas right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's snow all over the ground and we're stopped right now. Hopefully the locomotive is okay because this would be a bad place to have to start walking. But uh, yeah, the views are fantastic. It's nice and quiet compared to an airplane because that's pretty much the only form of like long distance travel other than driving I've ever experienced. It's a totally different type of witnessing what's around you. My eyes are glued to the window like I can't stop looking because it's so nice out and there's so many little towns and little stories you can collect from just the buildings that we go by. Service is cutting in and out so obviously when we go in a tunnel and stuff, not very good. But we just came out of a tunnel and we have a cellular connection which is pretty awesome and I think we'll be in Nevada within the next couple hours and we'll keep you guys posted on what we see.